Welcome to weekly update number 18 for the Robinhood portfolio. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the purchases I made this week, the income this portfolio generates, and the exit strategy for my short-term trade on APLE Hospitality REIT. Before we get to our purchases, I just want to acknowledge that we are in a red week. Overall, the market's pretty much been selling off. I attribute most of that to all the uncertainty, again, due to this virus. Really not a big deal to me. I'm not concerned at all. This just means we get in on better pricing. So on a typical week, I have $125 to invest into the stock market. This week I had two weeks worth, so I thought it was a good opportunity to buy into Apple. As you can see, I can already sell this company and make a return of $7.21. That is the power of buying in red weeks. That's why I love red weeks. Now, even though I am a dividend growth investor, I did not buy into Apple for their dividend yield. As you can see, it is less than 1%, but it is a very safe company and their dividend growth is very fast. Basically what that means is they are increasing their dividend year after year, which is a powerful asset for dividend growth portfolios. On top of that, they haven't had a reduction in over seven years. So they are very committed to paying their dividend as they should be with their yield being less than 1%. To wrap up my purchase of Apple though, basically I envision their stock being worth well over $1,000 in the coming years. Moving on to income for this portfolio, Basically, I track this in my spreadsheet every time I get paid a dividend, it goes into here. So since the last time we talked, we got paid from AGNC, 79 cents to start out the month of July. I have a lot more dividends coming this month, so hopefully we'll be increasing over June, which is the overall goal over this portfolio. Now, if you're looking at these numbers and laughing, you shouldn't because you should look at this as an easy way to get a pay raise week after week, month after month. I don't know about you guys, but my boss doesn't hand out raises every single month. This is a very simple way to increase your income as an individual. So basically, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I took a position on Apple Hospitality REIT. Do not confuse them with Apple. This is a completely different company. Now, the reason I bought into this company is the analyst ratings are very good. As you can see, even on Robinhood, it is 71% buy, 29% hold, and a 0% sell. On top of that, their earnings appear to be in the right place. But if you just look at the chart here, you can see they are well below their average for the past five years. Even in the past year, they are well below their average price for the stock. So I got in at an average cost of $9.08 a share. If you were paying attention this week, you could have got in under $9 a share easily. But basically, I just threw in $100 here. I think this company is going to easily get back up to $10, $11, maybe even $12 a share. As you can see, one of those analysts in the picture here, they are valuing it at $13 a share, which it could easily get to. Before the virus, they were around $15, $16 a share. So this may take a couple weeks, may take a couple months. I'm going to hold on to them until then. And if they start paying their dividend, I might not even sell it. We'll have to see what happens there. So basically my exit strategy here is to hold on to it. I am almost certain that the stock is going to go up in value. If it hits $10, $11, $12, I will be looking at maybe selling, but I will have to make that decision once it gets to that price point. That pretty much wraps up the weekly update for Robinhood. Stick around tomorrow for the M1 Finance update. If you guys aren't subbed to the channel, make sure you sub to the channel so you don't miss any uploads. Anyways, thanks for sticking around for the whole video. I will see you guys tomorrow.